Welcome to Ultra Concurrent Laboratory on Common Emitter Amplifier. It has four different views. The schematic view shows the CE amplifier with variations in five circuit components and input signal amplitude. In CE amplifier schematic it is possible to select biasing resistors R2 from 5.6 kilo ohm and 4.7 kilo ohm. RC can be either 1 kilo ohm or 2.2 kilo ohm, RE dash can be 0 ohm or 50 ohm and coupling capacitor CC can be either 0.1 microfarad or 0.01 microfarad. It's also possible to select one of the three similar make BJTs. RE dash indicate the amount of emitter degeneration resistor not bypassed by the capacitor CE. Input signal amplitude can be either 0 volt or 10 millivolt or 20 millivolt at frequency of 20 kHz. This will result in as many as 48 different CE amplifier circuit combinations. The circuit view shows the real-time implementation of common emitter amplifier on the breadboard. The LEDs indicate which combination is being in action at the given time. The digital ammeter display the collector current of the amplifier circuit. Oscilloscope view shows the time response of the amplifier for input sine wave. Oscilloscope indicate frequency, amplitude, and average voltage of the output signal. Bode diagram view shows frequency response of the common emitter amplifier. The magnitude and phase plots will help to know the CE amplifier mid-band voltage gain, bandwidth, gain bandwidth product, gain margin, and phase margin. Many important circuit concepts can be visualized in this laboratory. Let's observe the effect of component values on the amplifier biasing. Collector current is independent of RC as long as BJT remains in active region as verified by changing RC from 1 kilo ohm to 2.2 kilo ohm. Observe the collector current remaining almost same for different values of RC. The collector current remains constant around 1076 microampere. The potential divider resistor R2 will decide the base voltage of the transistor and hence collector current is directly proportional to R2 value. This can be visualized as the collector current which changes from 1076 microampere to 477 microampere. When R2 value change from 5.6 kilo ohm to 4.7 kilo ohm, changes in value of coupling capacitor CC from 0.1 microfarad to 0.01 microfarad, and RE dash from 50 ohm to 0 ohm, will not modify the bias current. The collector current remains constant at 471 microampere. The input AC signal will not modify the bias current, collector current remaining constant around as 471 microampere for input signal amplitude at 0 volt, 10 millivolt and 20 millivolt. The effect of any component values on the voltage gain can be visualized on the oscilloscope. For any combination of the circuit observe 180 degree phase difference between input and output signals at mid-band frequency. Let's see effect of circuit components on the frequency response of the common emitter amplifier circuit. The voltage gain and the bandwidth of the amplifier for RC value equal to 1 kilo ohm are measured from Bode plot is 32 decibels and 3.68 MHz. As RC increased to 2.2 kilo ohm the voltage gain increased to 37.1 decibels. But the bandwidth has reduced to 1.94 megahertz. This will help to visualize the concept of constant gain bandwidth product. Let's see the effect of CC on the frequency response of the amplifier. Change in value of coupling capacitor. When CC is 0.1 microfarad cutoff frequency is 540 Hz. When CC is reduced to 0.01 microfarad will increase the cutoff frequency to 3.6 kHz. 
but mid-band voltage gain remaining constant around 36 to 37 decibels. Let's see the effect of RE- on the amplifier response. With RE-0 ohm the maximum voltage gain is 37 decibels, as the RE- value is changed to 50 ohm the amplifier gain reduces to 28 decibels. However, as RE- doesn't affect the dominant pole of amplifier, the bandwidth will remain constant at 1.98 MHz. You could subscribe to Labs Land and perform all 48 different combinations and understand the CE amplifier concepts thoroughly.